What's up, everyone? I'm Luke Hogbeno, and you're watching the Ellen Live Show. This is episode 23, and I'm reviewing Moneyball. So this is going to be a pretty quick review, so let's get right to it. So Moneyball is a pretty slow-paced film, and it does... it does drag on and you can really feel the length of it because it's just kind of all this build up and they're just kind of going through this season but it's a fun movie to watch it's not um like incredibly boring or anything it's definitely a fun to watch kind of film but it's it really doesn't go anywhere it's um they kind of speed through all the things that you really want to see, like their 20-game uh, winning streak that they have uh, towards like the middle-slash-end of the season, I think, and um, it's mostly, they really, what they should have focused on, I think, was the development of the players on the team that they recruit for the replacements of Johnny Damon and Jason Giambi and uh, whoever else the other person was, um, but they really didn't do enough of that, I thought. They kind of, um, they only really touched upon, like, each of them really briefly. And I think if they had just gone a little bit further, they could have just, um, made it a more, like, compelling type of film. But they didn't do much of that, so it wasn't, uh, very interesting. Uh, I thought Brad Pitt was definitely a lot of fun. He was, uh, just as good as he always is. And... Um, I thought I think he was pretty fitting for this role, but there were some things about him that just kind of seemed like he wasn't really uh, the baseball kind of uh, manager uh, in a in a kind of way. But it was it just seemed more of like him playing that character, if you can kind of get what I mean. So it didn't seem like a character; it seemed like the actor, uh, which wasn't very good, but. I did enjoy Brad Pitt's uh, character and his um, role in the film, and I thought he was a lot of fun. So it was definitely good to see him in something, because I, I really haven't seen anything of his in a while since, like, Inglorious Bastards or something. I know he's done a couple things, but I haven't really seen anything of his lately, so it was good to see him again, and he definitely did a good job. This movie has a good deal of slow motion shots, and I thought they were really, really cool because they they kind of um, darkened out uh, the background and would really make you focus on the players and what was going on. So I thought that was really an interesting uh, way to show these new recruits to the team, and it made... Uh, a little, it kind of fit with how the pace of the film was going, so it definitely um, added to what I was seeing. So it was definitely a good thing to use, and I don't think they used too much. There are some times where you can like overdo the slow motion. I think they did um, a perfect amount. So this is really nothing special, and you could definitely wait for it uh, and see it later. Um, but that's all I have for this episode. As always, you can subscribe up top. You can leave a comment down below. You can leave a video response and like this video and give it a thumbs up. So for today's question of the day, if you haven't heard the news, time travel is now possible, which is friggin' awesome. And I want to know what are your favorite time travel movies. Some of mine are Time Bandits because Ter Terry Gilliam is just a friggin' genius. And uh, Back to the Future, of course, a lot, a lot of fun. Marty McFly, Doc Brown, all those guys... Just amazing, amazing time. All three movies are just great. And some... I don't know. I'd have to think about that. But those are some that I like. Let me know what you like, and I'll see you guys next week. Okay. Adios.